Hey guys, it's uh, Lifting Man 190 here, finally back with another video. Um, even though it's been a long time, I haven't actually stopped collecting. Uh, in fact, I've probably gotten and gone a little bit harder, I guess you could say, um, since I, you know, since my last upload, and uh, I've actually started focusing a little bit on some 1200 scale military aircraft. Uh, outside of the KC-135, which I know I've put a video up on here, uh, uh, reviewing. Uh, but yeah, obviously this is not a KC-135, although KC-135 is right there. Uh, the main focus of this video is obviously not going to be a KC-135. This is the Herpa 1200 scale uh, Rockwell B-1B Lancer uh, from the Georgia Air National Guard. Before we look at it, we'll... Do it like what we always do here is look at the box. Here it is. It's a decent size. Uh, just the front. Flip it open with some. You got German and English in there. Um, and you got it's all plastic, but the stuff in there. See, it's all plastic. No foam. Uh, there we go. Shut that, shut that shut. This is the bottom. A picture of three B1s, heck, that would be an amazing picture to have in your collection of photos. Um, so, yep, I see US Air Force Rockwell B1B, uh, Georgia Air National Guard from Robbins Air Base, registration 850071. Side, top, side, and the back. So we'll toss that aside now. I'll take a look at this like um, incredible model. Uh, this was actually the last of. I do have the big three. Um, there's the B two, and there's the B fifty two. Yes, the, these. This is an incredible trio to have, and I'm happy that I do have it. So now let's take a look at this spectacular airplane. So first up front, we got the. Little radome, got some pedo tubes going on, and then there's a refueling port. And the, this aircraft's uh, name, I guess you could say, is uh, Mr. Bones, which it has right there. And then, since this is a B1, it does have folding wings. That's probably why it's not very heavy, because it's got to be hollow for the for the wing fold. For the wing sw the swing wing mechanism come on you stupid piece of crap phone there we go yep yeah. I'd like them forward all right then we move on move along the we got our star and bar right there star and bar right here there's the Georgia tail code there's your air national guard like patch thing right there georgia uh, tail flash let me look at the back end with those four after burning turbo fan engines and let's see if you've noticed my wallpaper is airplanes i've had this for like you know 15 years according to my wallpaper those are general electric f101 ge f102 engines that's what the wallpaper says, but, uh, yeah, if you really want to look that up to see if that's right, just, you know, just Google it. Uh, basically everything's the same, same over here. we got our targeting pod right there. And we'll pick it up and look at on the underside. Um, gear is fixed, uh, like the other two, uh, B2 and B52. Um, which you'll see later, hopefully, if I can, if I get around to a video for both of those. But both are all, are all three bomb bays, so one, two, and then three back here. A double bogey main landing gear. There's a stand hole. Um, let me see, I do have a stand underneath my bed real right close here. Oh, this is the B-52s, but the B-1s is the exact same. Um, um, I don't know as though there's anything else to show about this airplane. Um, it is a spectacular model. I 
can't, I'm so happy to have this as well as all the other three. Um, it was one of the things when I started uh, the 1-200 militaries was I wanted to get all three uh, U.S. heavy bombers. So yeah, what I was, I'm getting here. So the one thing this does have is a uh, like a entrance uh, ladder. It's uh, interchangeable, just like you know Gemini landing gear, and you even get the gem the picks like you would on a Gemini. You see right there that little thing. That is where this goes. Um, so yeah, uh, that's gonna do it, I think, for this video. Um, this one didn't want to make this too terribly long, uh, but yeah, this is this thing is absolutely amazing, and I would highly recommend this. Like I don't even know. I was just when I got this, I was so happy because the B one. I saw it at Oshkosh a couple years ago, and it was absolutely spectacular. Um, I definitely like the B1 the most out of the three, for absolutely. No doubt, no doubt about it. It's so loud, so entertaining to watch. Just, I don't even know. Well, um, I'm going to uh, wrap it up here. Uh, I hope I can get back into more of this uh, whole YouTube thing with, with reviews. If you like this video, please like it. If you want to see more, uh, please subscribe. I'm, fingers crossed I'll get back into this a little bit more. Thanks a lot. Uh, bye.